Hello, in this video I'm going to show you what are the performance mistakes, one of the performance mistakes that people do while doing Flutter development. So here I have a text field, just a text field. I'm going, going to remove that, I'm going to add some more widgets into that and I'll be adding a row with uh, some, some widgets inside it with a counter value. I'm going to create a state variable and I'm going to add some more widgets. That will be a container with child column and two text widgets inside it okay first text will have a text of hello and the second one will have text with word all right now i'm going to hot reload you can see those values with the counter value zero okay now you see that it's a long UI, right? It's a long nested UI. So people tend to refactor it. So they will do something like this. They'll create a widget and copy the whole, let's say we are going to copy the whole container and make it into a method and return the widget from that method. This seems like a cleaner method of writing UI, but let's see, there is no change in the UI so let's see what is the problem let's put a print statement inside the method let's say building widget i'm going to put the same print inside the build method main build method it's called rendering and i'm going to add a button that will increment the counter on press increment counter i'm going to write the method increment counter and increase the value by one Okay, let's re-render. When you click button, you see the re-rendering has been called, right? So it's going to build the same widget again and again. But we know that the build, the widget has no change in the widget, right? There is no change in the widget. So let's fix that. I'm going to create a new class which extends the stateless widget. And let's build the same UI. Copy that and return the same container. I'm going to add a print statement printing rendering my widget and let's add that and hot reload let's click the button you see that the same method has been called again right so that doesn't solve our problem so how do we solve that how many times you click the same thing is going to happen right so let's add a constructor with a constant keyword to the my widget and let's use those that constant where we call the my widget so constant my widget let's uh, hot reload and see if it is working so when you click that you see that the widget is not being re-rendered so that's a huge performance improvement i know that this is a simple example but when it is a complex ui this saves a lot of cpu cycles and hugely improves the flutter performance and your application performance as well right so this is a tip if you like the video please like hit share and also please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching